Hey guys, it's Maylee. Welcome back to my channel. Today we've got another moving vlog. I'm very excited to show you some more of my decorating and organizing process. If this is the first video, hello, plane. Can you please be quiet? I'm filming. Anyways, uh, to give some context, if this is the first video you're watching from me, I'm originally from Seattle and I just moved down to LA. I'm a sophomore at UCLA, so I moved back here for college. Um, all my classes are online, but I still want to move back in like the LA Westwood area. So yeah, it's currently October, but I moved in the beginning of September. I'm just finally getting around to editing these clips, so I just want to pop in here with an intro. If you haven't seen my other moving vlogs, I will link them down below. I have a whole playlist of them. Be sure to like this video and subscribe down below for more and make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you're notified every time I upload a new video and yeah I think that's all for the intro so hope you guys enjoy the video hey guys it's a couple days later is it yeah I don't think I vlogged yesterday yeah um so basically yesterday I went to a couple stores I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and then also Target oh and also this morning I went to Staples and I originally went there because I need to print some stuff like I need to print my econ notes before my final on Wednesday and my printer is supposed to arrive on Thursday which is literally the day after my econ final but it's okay I just went to Staples and they have like a printing center there so I just printed there when I was there I saw some like really cute stationery and like school supply stuff so I had to pick up some don't worry I had lots of self-restraint when it came to pens and stuff because y'all already know I have way too many pens and pencils and like writing utensils like because it is my job I have a part-time job where I work for a hand lettering company so I do have a lot of like tumbledore brush pens and stationery and bullet journaling stuff but I did need like a few school supplies since school's coming up so I did grab a few of those things so yeah it's gonna be like a little mini haul I'll show you guys some random home stuff that I got to Bed Bath & Beyond stuff. The first thing I got is this placemat. I really like it. It's this marble as you can tell. I actually had the same exact placemat last year in my freshman year dorm but I never used it because when I would eat my snacks I wouldn't really need a placemat and then like my meals I would eat in the dining hall so I ended up not really using it but I'm very glad they sold the same exact one this year because I really liked it. Like I really like the marble pattern so this year I can definitely use it. Also life hack, this is really great for like product laydown shots. Last year when I was a brand ambassador for Maybelline, I would take a lot of my product laydown shots on this. It holds up its shape really well and it is like a laminated surface so it looks really good for like photo backdrops. I think this was like only 99 cents or like a dollar or something. Bed Bath & Beyond, definitely the place to go for these things. I also got some knives. These are pretty inexpensive so I decided to get two sets. Um, just because they're a little bit different, so I don't know if you can tell, like, these have more of a jaggedy edge. And then these ones are just a straight edge. I want to get separate knives for, like, meats and veggies so that there's no, like, cross-contamination. And then these ones might be good for, like, cutting fruit or something, so got those. I also got this. It's called the Kitchen Sink Shroom. But basically, it's like a drain clog thing free thing. You put it over the drain and it catches any food. This is really good so that I don't ruin my kitchen sink. To get food stuck in the sink, sometimes it can ruin the drain and like the disposal system. So yeah, my mom was like, make sure you pick up one of these. So mom, I got one. I'm in front of my kitchen sink right now and there are a few dishes that I got. Um, So I'm literally just pulling them out of the kitchen sink. I haven't used them yet. I just put them in there so that I can wash them before I use them. The first thing we have are these three bowls. I got these from Target. Target. Previously in my room back home, I would just buy whatever colored things I just felt like at that moment. So over the years, I'd collected a assortment of different colored items because I didn't really stick to a general color scheme. This time I told myself I would be more like organized in that sense. So I'm trying to stick to more like whites and pinks and like brown and beige tones. So I got three of these bowls and these are perfect. I use them for like oatmeal in the morning. And if I make like noodles or soups or really anything. So next I got these measuring cups these are from the brand joseph joseph and i really like these because they like snap together so they don't really take up that much space when you're storing them obviously with my apartment there is limited storage so i don't have that much space to like put like all of these separately so i really like that they can just stack and they snap together it comes with like different measurements for teaspoons and tablespoons and then like cup sizes next we have this water bottle cleaner for my hydro flask 
Next, I have two of these bowls. These are just a little bit bigger. Oh, and then also back here, I think I showed you guys this, but I'm going to wash these as well. It's the utensil set that I got from Target, so I'm gonna put these in the sink. When I went to Target, I also picked up some dishwasher detergent. This is by the seventh generation brand. Again, trying to go like more natural with my home products. Oh, also before I move on to other stuff, I bought a ton of things off of Amazon and one of them was this like ice cube tray. I wanted to get ones that were BPA free. So I just looked up like BPA free ice cube trays and this one had a pretty good review. Okay, now moving on to staples. Guys, actually, so I always bought my school supplies from Target. I always felt like they had like a good selection. They had some cute stuff. But this year I realized that like actually staples I'd probably say has cuter things. I feel like it's also because like everyone goes to Target to get school supplies so they sell out of the really cute stuff really quickly. Anyways, I didn't really buy that much stuff because I don't really need that much. But the first thing I got is this paper clip and binder clip duo thing. These are really cute. They're like metallic. Then we got a three hole puncher because I use this all the time. I keep my notes and everything in binders so I need this and it was on sale which I was very happy about. Got some white out because I only use pens like you will rarely find me using a pencil unless I need to take like a test or something and the professor like requires it. I just like using pens but obviously since I make mistakes like I'm human I need white out. I got this pink folder again trying to stick to the pink color scheme. Got some binder dividers to go along with this binder that I got. Binders by the same brand as that folder. It's by the brand Pep Rally. But yeah, they have some really cute colors. They have like a pastel purple and like other pastel colors. Next thing is some Sharpies. Okay, moving on to Target. I got some batteries, so double A and then triple A. I didn't really need this big of a pack, but it was the smallest pack that they had, so. Then we also got some Claritin because I have bad allergies to pollen. Some band-aids. I got this expandable shoe rack. I'm thinking to put this in the like storage closet, like the room near the front door, because I did bring a good amount of shoes, so I need something to like put them on because if I just put them on the ground, they like I can't walk into the closet, they're like scattered all over. So this is really affordable at Target, so I'm gonna try this out if it doesn't work. Like, I found another alternative on Amazon. So I'll let you guys know what I think of this later. So that's all I got from Target, and then I also want to show you guys some random things I picked up from like Amazon. First thing I got from Amazon is this Good Grips salad spinner. I've been wanting this for a long time actually, and I told myself when I get my own apartment, I will finally just like buy it because I'd be washing like my fruits and vegetables a ton. This is really cool. It's basically like a bowl with a strainer and there's this like button at the top and you just press it and it spins like the lettuce leaves or like whatever salad leaves you have in there and it gets rid of all the water just because it's like spinning so fast. Definitely like a lot better for drying everything and like a lot quicker. And then I also got these pots and pans from this brand called Caraway. They had some really great reviews online and I've been getting ads for them and also it's been harder to find like good quality pots and pans because I do have an induction stove so there are only certain types of pots and pans I can use on that type of stove. I got one pot and one pan. Oh also update on this um box cutting tool. It is so great. I highly recommend it. It was like less than 10 bucks. I think it was around like seven or something and it cuts boxes so nicely and what I really like is that first of all this is a ceramic blade so even though it cuts a box is really well like it doesn't really hurt you. If you know you're clumsy like me you won't really run the risk of hurting yourself. And also second because it's a ceramic blade the tape doesn't get stuck to it so the blade doesn't get sticky which is so much better than a regular box cutter. color. Okay, when you open the box, it says cookware without the chemicals. So yeah, I really like this brand because they really try to be conscious of what products they use. So this is the frying pan that I got. It's in this salmon color. They have a few different colors. But yeah, it had a really good review, so I'm excited to try that. And it also comes with this little case, which is nice. Okay, and then we've also got this saucepan in the same exact color. And then it also comes with this lid. Like that. Very excited to finally have pots and pans so that I can cook my own food. I'll let you guys know what I end up thinking about these pots and pans because I mean they do have really good reviews so I'm excited to try them out. So yeah that's for the haul so far. Don't worry there will probably be more because I still like need to get a few things but you know I'm taking my time. I'm 
going slow and steady. I've also just been studying for econ so much. Once my final's done, I can focus like full on on like decorating the place and getting everything I need, but I've just been so busy with econ. Later. Hey guys, it's a few days later. Currently around noon. Today is Thursday. I am so happy because I finished my econ final. <laughs> I had my final last night and not gonna lie, it was really, really difficult. Actually, at the end of the final, the professor was like, oh, um, because he could already see the grades that we were getting. Um, we don't know our grades yet. We're gonna figure out later tonight. But once we submit it, like, he gets the grades right away. And he was like, yeah, the average is, um, it's significantly lower than the midterm. And I was like, and when he said that, it was like on Zoom because the exam was proctored on Zoom and I could see everyone's faces. Everyone just took like a sigh of relief and we were all laughing because we all found it really difficult. So I feel a little bit better knowing that I wasn't the only one who found it really difficult. Just glad that that's done with. So now we can go full on apartment decorating. But I mean, before I start apartment decorating, I need to do a lot of cleaning as you can see. I have a pile of boxes just accumulating back there. I've just been so busy the past few days with econ. I really haven't had time to clean up. So first I'm gonna organize and then get to decorating. I also just ran my dishwasher for the second time. You know, just adulting things. So I bought some like storage containers. You can see them back there. I got them from Target yesterday. So I think what I'm gonna do is first go through the boxes and like see what I got and then use those storage bins to organize. I'm actually super excited. Um, one of the boxes that I got, if you guys haven't seen my other videos, I am actually a pink campus rep. So we are having a bunch of giveaways. Uh, definitely go follow our Instagram account. It's VS Pink UCLA. But yeah, part of being a rep is that we get some products that we can use for giveaways. So I just got like a gigantic box of all these goodies that are gonna go straight to you guys. Just to kind of show you guys things that we're giving away. Um, we have a few of these little mini backpacks, which is super cute. We have a ton of different masks. So there's like this pink one, another gray backpack. We also got some of these balloons, which are really cute. They're heart-shaped balloons, they say pink, and then they have a dog on the back. These, I think, are supposed to be meant for events, but I don't think we'll be having any events anytime soon with, you know, the pandemic. But that'll be cool to, once we can use them, it'll be really cute. So we got some orange masks. We have a ton of pens and they have really cute sayings on them. These are, oh, these are really cute. These are, um, what do you call them? Like you stick them on the back of your phone and you can put cards in them. They say hashtag girl power, which we're all about here at Pink. More masks. Here, let me just show you guys. There's just a ton of stuff. So we got lots of masks. Ooh, that's a fun print. Oh, I love this pink one. There's also a bunch of different scrunchies, some cute headbands, got a pack of different stickers. Ooh, that's also a fun mask. And then yes, I know this pile is very messy, but I know somewhere in those boxes we got sent a ton of different hand sanitizers. I like how Pink is really gearing their giveaway products towards, you know, and the time that we're in. So giving away hand sanitizers and masks. So definitely come in use. But yeah, I'm thinking um, I got some containers. I think what I'm gonna do is just organize a little bit, sort out like what's the masks, what's the hair stuff, and put them in different bins. So it's just, you know, a little bit neater. Gotta put my hair up for this job. I got this really cute bin from Target yesterday. Can you guys hear me? I have my fans on because the AC in this unit does not work very well. And the fan is like right next to you guys. So I apologize if you can't really hear me that well. Ooh, I love this too. This one's supposed to be for the campus rep, so this one's for me. It says pink campus reps on the back. This is so cute. I'm so excited. Thank you, Pink. And then this one's for my co-rep, Brooke. We also have some cute tees for our pink campus team. Our campus team is basically a team that we create of five girls, and each girl has like a different position, so there's like um, someone in charge of social media, someone in charge of outreach, and etc. So each member also gets a really cute backpack. There are a few different colors, but yeah, I'm really excited to give these to them. Okay, so here's an update. Here in this one, I put all the hair stuff. So there's a bunch of scrunchies, some headbands, and then a bunch of these cute clips. And then these are all the masks. So I just thought that I'd put them in these bins so I can more easily see what products we have available to give away. 
Then here I put some other giveaway products. So these ones, like things that I want to take out of the box. So again, I could see what products we have to give away. And then in the box, I ended up keeping the more bigger items. So that's there. They also sent a ton of boxes of like different hand sanitizers. So there's this one and then that one. So yes, again, this is all giveaway product and you can definitely feel free to enter our different giveaways. We'll be having a ton of different ones throughout the school year. So yeah, um, glad that I've organized that. Hey guys, it's the next day. I don't think I ended up showing you guys how the lights turned out, like the colored lights that I put in. So I'm gonna show you guys that now. I really like how it ended up. Basically there's this remote and you can choose all these different colors. So that's like just a white light. And then we've got red, orange, yellow, green. That kind of looks blue. That's more blue. And then like pink. And I also have it on this side as well. And then my favorite is this one. It um, just changes the colors. So it goes from like red to orange to yellow, you know, like through the rainbow. I got those from Amazon. So if you're interested, just like look up color changing light bulbs on Amazon and you can find them. If you watch my videos, my old room, like back in Seattle, I had those like strip lights that, you know, you see like all over TikTok. And I really, really like those. And I really want to have them in this apartment. But I remember when I was putting them up, like I had to rearrange them a bit. And they actually, like when you take them off, they take off some of the paint just because the adhesive is so strong. So I can't put them in this apartment because like when I move out I would have to take them down and if I peel off the paint I'd have to pay for that so this is a much better alternative you know if you're living in an apartment as well and you want those strip lights but you're afraid that it will like tear off the paint then I highly recommend just like getting color changing light bulbs right now I'm gonna get back to organizing so I think now on the agenda is to build my shoe rack. I got a shoe rack from Target and it'll be nice to just like have some way to organize my shoes because I definitely brought a lot of shoes and the actual rack was pretty affordable. So yeah, I'm gonna build that now. This is what the shoe rack looks like. Okay, there we go. That's the finished shoe rack. It was actually really easy to put together. It only took like five minutes. You just have to screw these four rods on and yeah, that's pretty much it. I really like this one too because you can obviously like adjust here, but you can also adjust the length like depending on how many shoes you have. Okay, there we go. I put my shoes on them. This is just like a little closet space. Having this shoe rack so that I can double stack my shoes is so helpful. Before I would just lay them out and they would like take up all this space. Now I can actually fit that luggage there. Again, that's from Target and very affordable. So so definitely recommend checking out Target for some shoe racks. Tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Still dark outside. Um, I wake up pretty early. It's currently 6.15 a.m. Last night, my curtains came, so very excited to finally put those up. Especially, like, early in the mornings when it's still dark outside or, like, in the evenings when it's dark. When my lights are on, like, the neighbors can clearly see into my window and, like, see everything I'm doing. So, you know, that just makes me, that just makes me a little uncomfy. So I'm very glad to finally put the blinds up. This is what they look like. So yeah, I've got one layer of like the sheer curtains and then I got these blackout blinds. So they have like the blackout on the back and then I decided to get it in this like very neutral beigey color. So that way it didn't really like distract from too much. The person who installed it did a really good job um, and I'm really happy with how they turned out. Now I can actually close my blinds so that the neighbors don't see everything I do. Yay! <laughs> All right, that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some more of my organizing and decorating process. Make sure you like this video and subscribe down below for more and turn on those post notifications so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you have any video ideas that you want to see from me, I'd love to hear all your suggestions, so feel free to leave them in the comments. Until next time, I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!